Praise to the Shadow. You are here. I was getting worried about you. What's going on, scum? Kane is moving to take power. He came with dozens of followers, killed many who stood in his way, threatened to do the same to countless more. As for you and I, Phobos, I promise that he has already planned our deaths. Zachariah, it is not my life I worry for. He will kill any and all who stand against him. He will wipe out human cities, destroying those with little more than sticks and rocks to defend themselves. Blood will drench this planet. And I'm sure all our names are probably top in the list. And we better make a move before it's too late. Stop potential disruptions to the bloodbath they have prepared. I know of another way in, though. Follow me. Your brother Kane has lost his mind. He wishes to set up a regime built upon fear. Yet, he suffered from something similar. He should understand that what he wants couldn't be achieved using violent means. I don't think he's too worried about his allies or the consequences of his actions. He only cares for power and the methods to gain it. Ah, look what we have here. The fool who believed he was a more worthy chief than me. It is now my way or no way. Follow me or follow death. Will you never change, Kane? Is your only path the one stained with blood, paved with hate? The same hate destroying your own people! Look around! This valley was once filled with peace, but it's now filled with gravestones! You cannot continue to lead our people down this road! You have gone too far, Kane. Fight someone your own size. <laughs> His heart pumps with pure hatred. Spilling it makes us no better than he. It ensures more blood will follow. Please, be better than he is. Scum, if I were as good as you, I would not be me. And that is all I can be. One cannot continue to trim a weed that will not stop growing and spreading its seeds. One must rip it out by the roots. He will start wars among us or between us. He cannot live another breath. Scum's a good guy. All he wants is peace. 
The Valley needs someone like him to lead them. Even if I think Phobos would be a better choice in other ways. Very kind of you to say, Nisha. Not being kind, I'm being honest. Your people will have to fight to free your brothers and win the right to live free among the corporations. I don't think he's got it in him to lead your people into battle. That's all. Zachariah, you are living proof that our people can live in harmony. You have helped us enormously, but now I believe it is time to make a decision. We must present a chief to the assembly. The time for speaking, I am afraid, is dwindling. If our internal quarrels give rise to conflict within our own, we need someone to unite us. We must walk as one race, place differences aside. Then it should be you. There is no mutant who lacks respect for you. And unlike Kane, your leadership will not spill blood. As a strategist, though, you are greatly respected as well. Perhaps it is you who should run. I know it may not be my place to give an opinion, but I think that it makes sense for you to be chief, scum. You inspire them, and that's what they need. Perhaps... Perhaps you are correct, Zachariah. Though the fear of needing to be not just a chief, but a strategist that must lead a charge to free our brothers, I do not know. But we shall see what my people have to say. My love and support are yours, Scum. I will continue on with Zachariah until he finds peace, but I will come back to help you once it is done. Humbly he stands before you. Once we spoke like this, remember? When we were bound in our chains, but that's behind us. And today, myself, Scum, in this valley that is ours, can finally say, I! And such freedom was bought with blood of our fallen brothers. Hear me when I speak these words. I also have the belief that our found freedom must be shared. And for that reason, let us rise, but with no violence. Without freedom taken by crushing down those who, too, were once our brothers. So might we all be brothers someday. Even those who once bathed in our humiliation. In my dreams, I see a planet where mutants and men live together. Break bread together. Bear witness as their kin play together. Let us not create adversaries with wrath, or become the cruelty once shown to us. Instead, let us show mercy, and in that mercy, let there lie our road to peace. And with the shadow's mercy, may this dream of freedom and equality spread across the surface of our planet. Zachariah, we must talk. 